Hi, welcome to another session of Circuits and Networks. In today's class, we are going to see transient analysis solution using Laplace transform. So this is the problem. What we are going to encounter uh, using Laplace transform, and we are going to find out the value of i of t. So the problem given to us is shown in Figure one. We need to find out i of t through zero point one two Henrys. Okay, so we can look into this problem. The switch was initially closed for long duration of time, and at t equal to zero, the switch is open. So we need to find out i of t for that condition. Okay, so we are going to solve the problem first using differential equation approach, and that we are going to treat as method one. So assuming switch was closed for long time, that is at t equal to zero minus inductor reached its steady state condition. And acts as short circuit. So this is the figure 1a, uh, which is taken as the condition for t equal to zero minus. And the current which is flowing through this is nothing but I of zero minus, and that current is obtained to be 0.625 amperes. So current through inductor cannot change instantaneously. So the value of current uh, after removal of the switch, that is I of zero plus, is same. That is 0.625 amperes. This is the first catch you should obtain by looking into the problem. Okay, so framing this as equation one and for t greater than zero, the circuit is shown in figure one b, and we are going to apply KVL to this loop of figure one b. So you can see one b figure is shown here. The switch is open. Thirty six ohms is connected to zero point one two Henry's, and when you apply KVL. In the clockwise direction, you are going to obtain I of t, which is flowing through 0.12 h, and the drops across resistance and inductor is obtained to be 36 I of t plus 0.12 di by dt equal to zero. Uh, reframing this equation as a proper equation of di by dt plus 300 i equal to zero. Hence, changing the equation to a mathematical homogeneous differential equation. Because we know the solution for this is nothing but simply I of t is equal to k e to the power of minus p t, where p is here, that is 300. We need to find out the value of k, and that can be obtained with the help of initial conditions. What is the initial conditions? Uh, initially, the inductor was charged to 0.625 amperes. That you need to keep in the mind. So we are going to apply this condition in order to determine the value of k. So I of zero minus is equal to k e to the power of zero, and k value is zero point six two five. And this equation four, you can substitute in equation three, and finally you are going to get the value of I of t is equal to zero point six two five e to the power of minus three hundred t amperes. So these kind of problems, when you are going to solve for competitive exams like GATE exams or engineering services exams or any state government exams of electrical. Uh, exam related uh, the shortcut is nothing but you need to keep in the mind that inductor current cannot change instantaneously with that you can easily frame the equation for the current which is flown through any inductor fine our main intention is to solve the problem using laplace transform approach so figure 1 is changed to figure 1a and we know that the value of current uh, uh, before and after switching is 0.625 amperes Now, using Laplace transform, we need to solve the problem. So, for t greater than zero, uh, the Laplace equation for the circuit shown in Figure one changes to Figure one b, as shown in this circuit, where you can see 36 ohms is again connected to 0.12 s. Here, Henry's uh, that is inductor value under frequency domain changes to 0.12 s. Just You need to keep in the mind that if at all you have one Henry, then it becomes S. If at all it becomes three Henrys, then it becomes three S. Now here it is 0.12 Henry, so it becomes 0.12 S, and that is connected in series with voltage as shown over here. What is that? That is the voltage developed across the inductor with actual conditions and the past conditions. So this V L is equal to L D I by D T. This we know from our uh, standard. Time domain equation, so that can be changed to frequency domain equation as V of s is equal to L s i of s. Wherever you have d 
by dt that changes to si of s if it are you have for suppose d square by dt square then it becomes s square i of s is this clear fine well we have l di by dt so it becomes l s i of s minus the initial current stored here we have 0.625 amps so that you need to keep the mind so overall the voltage across inductor is based upon this formula that is v of s is equal to l s i of s minus l i of 0 so i have substituted the value of l over here and i have substituted the value of i of 0 also over here and this we are taking as equation 2 and we are going to apply kvl to figure 1b in this direction so what we are going to do it 36 i of s right plus v of s plus v of s equal to 0 but what is v of s v of s is nothing but 0 0.12 s i of s minus 0 0.12 of 0 0.625 so simplify this equation and we are going to get the value of i of s which is equivalent to 0 0.625 divided by s plus 300 see it's a simple mathematics and you need to keep in the mind that laplace value can be changed uh, with the help of laplace value you can change the frequency value to time domain value with the help of inverse Laplace. So by inverse Laplace transform, this 0 0.625 remains as it is, but 1 by S plus 300 becomes e to the power of minus 300 T. So I of T is equal to 0 0.625 e to the power of minus 300 T amperes. So this is the same solution what we are obtained using differential approach. So either you can follow method 1 or method 2 in order to solve the transient analysis problem. Uh, for a kind of revision, uh, take this circuit which is shown in figure 2 and obtain the value of I of 3 in 6 entries and another circuit you can see you need to find out the I of t through 25 entries. Okay, so either you apply differential approach or Laplace approach and check the solution that you are going to get the value of I of t for second problem as 2.5 into e to the power of minus 5t amperes and I of t is equal to 3.3 e to the power of minus 18.660 amperes. You please comment in the chat box whether you got the same answers or not. Otherwise, we are going to solve the problem in the next class. So, I hope you like this uh, session. Please share uh, our channel and subscribe to our channel. And please press the bell icon for the future notifications.